Hey guys, wanted to show you my first official flashlight mod and my first official flashlight build. We're going to do this all together in one video because I think two videos is just too many. So first of all, we're going to show the mod because I think that's the most interesting. Now I have one of these old, uh, probably 10 years old, uh, if not more, probably more like 12, 13. This old Garrity uh, flashlight. It's a pretty old LED that I picked up at like either like a Walmart or a Dick Sporting Goods way back in the day, and it was uh, it was pretty good at the time. It was uh, back when LEDs were pretty much in their infancy, and uh, it used uh, let me uh, pull the guts out of this bag here. Basically, it used three AAA's and a little carrier like that, and it had. Uh, an LED, but not LEDs like you see on most modern flashlights. It actually has one of these uh, round, you know, pretty much like a three watt or something LED. Not much to it at all, and uh, it pretty much it put out maybe 15 or 20 lumens, and the beam was only good for maybe 10 or 15 feet. And it came in this real crappy plastic, you know holder and it, it just the whole thing was a mess so I kind of set out you know because I've really been into the flashlights and I've really been doing a lot of work with learning about them and the best way to learn about them is to like with anything else get hands-on so I decided I wanted to start building and modifying flashlights and being this old uh, Garrity I have nothing to lose because it's really just so outdated you know and the only thing I really ever used it for was in the car I used it for like reading maps and occasionally I bring a backpacking because it was a really good reading light because it wasn't very bright so it was good to kind of like read in your hammock or something like that so now I've went and basically what I did is turn it into a modern light that takes an 18650 battery and has a uh, modern LED in it now it still needs a little work because the beam is you, know, you can see a little ringy see those outer rings there so the beam's a little ringy so I'm going to fix that by replacing out this uh, cheap, uh, ooh, let's focus here. By replacing out this cheap uh, optic in the front, which that'll take some time because it's glued in there, so I'm gonna have to pound it out, probably take out any broken chips or anything, and then find a new one to fit and uh, work with it. So we're gonna tear this down and show you what I did. Didn't do anything in the tail end. So it's pretty much just a standard tail cap. You can see there's an 18650 in there, but it's not loose. There's actually a retaining ring in there that holds it in place. So that's kind of cool, and we'll show you that. We take it apart. This is an interesting uh, flashlight to mod, because it's very weird design. They don't make flashlights like this anymore. So you can see that's the head, and it's got that weird optic in there. And it's got some flaws to it. It's plastic, so that's what makes it so ringy and uh, have the flaws in it. So uh, what I did was I took advantage of the, of the crappy old design to make it do this. So what I did was I took a, uh, a pill from a C8 flashlight and basically just trial and error tried different flashlight parts until I found one that fit. So I took the C8 flashlight pill, put a, uh, I think it's an Osram LED on there. And it's basically just press fit in there with some silicone, uh, thermal silicone rubber to, as a spacer. There's your driver in the back that I installed into the back of the pill with a little uh, button so that you can use flat top 18650s. So that's in there, all soldered in. Let's not critique the soldering job, I'm not an expert. <laughs> but yeah. But there it is. Very simple. So, once you take that apart, I was able to utilize the retaining ring for the battery clip in order to hold the 18650s. You can see there's nothing in there holding in except that battery clip, which is actually very good. It holds it in place really well. So, once it's all together, I mean, I could probably put something in there to, uh, some more of that silicone in there to, to give that a little better spacing if I want it, but it really doesn't need it. So, really cool. I mean, I really like the mod. It's really uh, simple and easy. Just uh, kind of uh, a matter of playing with individual parts. 
and I did have to uh, whoop, you know, frame here, take off the anodizing along the top so that the pill would uh, ground out to the uh, to the flashlight shell. We'll put that all back together. And so hey, you know, I went from having basically a uh, flashlight that was worthless to me to now something that is useful again. And this thing shoots about 50 yards at this point. And you can see it's pretty bright. I'm guessing about 150 lumens, so it's quite an increase in brightness. And uh, it's going to last uh, quite a while. I mean, it runs at about one amp, according to my multimeter. So I should easily get, you know, two to three, maybe even three and a half hours out of this with a with a battery. So not too, not too bad at all for 100, 150 uh, lumens. So other than working on that optic, she's done. So I learned a lot by that project and uh, that kind of let me go forward with this build which what I did was I bought a pre-made host which is the Convoy M2 you can basically buy the flashlight without any guts and what I did here was I kind of built a little bit of a hot rod you know this is not the best host for it but uh, pretty neat you know what I did was I used we'll kind of tear this down real quick too Of course I did spring braid mods on both ends of this, so we're using a flat top uh, battery for that. So the tube, not, oop, sorry, nothing to do with the tube really. All I did was this particular model has a, a built in shelf so there's no pill. So basically all you do is insert a driver and you solder it in. So I bought a... Uh, Special driver, and this is a direct drive driver, or sometimes called a FET, F -E -T. and what it does is it basically runs the uh, light directly off the battery, but it also has low modes as well. So this thing has like 2%, 5%, 15%, I think 30%, and then 100%, and that 100% pretty much is running for as much as that battery will let you. And you can see I got another spring bypass on the little spring here. Real uh, crummy soldering job holding it in. And then up top, I put an XPL high LED. And so basically, the XPL high is a really good thrower. It's a de-domed XPL. And they easily get, um, they easily get a thousand lumens. So we're going to put this back together, kind of show you. Uh, like I said, this is a bit of a hot rod flashlight. So it's kind of special purpose. You're not going to, you know, be running around blasting this thing on high all the time because it gets hot very quick. So it turns on, it's got a reverse clicky. It starts in low all the time. So it's got this little low mode, which is probably in the neighborhood of 10, 20 lumens. Oop. There we go. Next mode, which is probably in that, like, I don't know, maybe 30, 50. Then you're getting up there, higher, and bam. Now this bright mode is somewhere in the neighborhood of probably about a thousand lumens. And man, this thing gets hot fast. It only takes about 20, 30 seconds and this gets hot. I measured it out at well over three amps on my uh, reader. Has a really good beam profile, really good hot spot to it. Let's turn that light off. See if you can kind of see. But it's got a really nice hot spot and a really nice well-defined area of spill around it. So we're already starting to get hot. So right now it's already kind of uh, getting warm to the touch. So, and this I've been the high that actually was a mode lower. So this is going to get hot really fast. But I measured it out compared to several other flashlights that I have, and basically using a flashlight uh, Lux app on my cell phone. Which I'll show you real quick. I do got it here. You basically point the uh, light at it and it'll give you a lux reading. And so what I do is I do that out at about a meter and it allows me to actually compare the brightness. Now it doesn't give you lumens, it gives you lux. And you have to remember lux and lumens are different things. Lumens is the total amount of light coming out of that flashlight, whereas lux is just that brightness in a particular area. So what I found is it's actually significantly brighter than my thousand lumen flashlights. So that hot spot, I'm guessing, is 
it's pretty it's pretty bright I'm, I'm guessing the neighborhood this is somewhere between a thousand and twelve hundred lumens easily it's a real nice uh, tint to it it's a really nice warm tint as you can see it's not that bluish color that you usually get with LEDs so uh, very nice and the uh, low modes you know like I said these low modes are gonna last a long time in the battery so if you're taking this out for regular use you got a long lifetime out of these low modes and then that uh, blaster mode there which is direct drive it's running straight out the battery no interference the only uh, resistance is the actual resistance in the, the flashlight itself so it's not much more than anything you're going to use for 20 30 seconds so yeah it's pretty hot pretty quick so we're going to shut that down before we melt anything and uh call it a day and hope you enjoyed and like i said guys this is uh what i try to do so that I can get better at these things, learn more, and be better at uh, giving reviews. So these are two little projects I did. I just wanted to share with you. They're real easy. They're real cheap. You're talking maybe 30 bucks on the table there. And it worked out very well. And I